Hey, hey, Vining Will here, and in the last video, Claire, our favorite Resident Evil 2 character, became a police officer to fight the Terminator. Well, it seems the police has a very, very poor record when it comes to fighting the Terminator. In every Terminator movie, the police is always getting outgunned and getting their butts kicked. So it's no surprise that Claire is having a hard time fighting him. Oh, I don't know, I think maybe Claire needs to do some bodybuilding in order to compete with the Terminator. Yes, to compete with Arnold Schwarzenegger. We have Pumping Iron by ES47 and it looks like Claire has been working out and is ready to enter a bodybuilding competition. Now the Pumping Iron outfit, if you want to call it an outfit, replaces the Elza Walker outfit in the game. And when we look at the model, it looks like she is wearing uh, the red outfit and training shoe that she probably wears when she's working out at the gym. It seems Claire worked on both her upper and lower body. We can also see the veins on her body because, well, her muscles are going to need a lot of blood and oxygen to keep them going, especially since she's always like running around, busting open doors, wrestling with some bioweapons, and lifting heavy objects. She kind of reminds me of Kale from Dragon Ball Super when she goes into Super Saiyan Berserk mode, yes. Doesn't she not, you know, she kind of has a similar outfit and she has the same muscular, big, badass figure. Now, although she does kind of look kind of clumsy when she's kind of running around, especially when she has a little itty bitty like pistol. Before we continue, if you want to support my work and enjoy watching my videos, head on over to my Patreon to help me with my battle against YouTube and being able to create content that you all love and enjoy. But yeah, at the same time, she kind of looks very comfortable using like the bonus heavy weapons like the ATM-4 rocket launcher and the minigun. Yes, especially the minigun because it kind of reminds me of when the Terminator was uh, using and firing the minigun in Terminator 2. Now, it was a really cool scene when I watched it when I was a kid and it still looks pretty damn cool when I watch it right now now. Oh, oh my god. Open up! Hurry! Yeah, I shall help this puny guy with my big muscles. Yeah, poor poor officer Elliot. Now if only Claire lifted the metal shutters higher so maybe he can get through it more easily and faster without getting torn apart. Like it leads underground. Good. You can get out of this hellhole. Hey, Marvin. Guess what? I think I found the way out. Come on, you girly boy. Come on. Come on. Let's get you out of here. Let's go. Are you okay? Oh, no. I just go. Nine. I shall carry you, big baby, with my big muscles. Okay. Hey, Marvin. Thank you. No, guys, we are not pumping Chief Iron with Claire. You got the wrong idea from the name of the mod, but I would not mind seeing it on Rue 34 if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Pray, little girl, leave her house in the middle of this mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. You can't be serious. On the ground, now. Sherry, tie your hands. Why are you doing Shut that? Shut up. Tie her. Okay then, you tie her up now or she dies. What's this all about? Child endangerment, for starters. Sherry, come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. You hurt her, I swear to God, my brother is stars and I will fuck her. <laughs> Sherry, get over here. I think we need to see who would win in a fight, the Terminator or the new and improved Claire. So let's go get the garage key car to trigger the Terminator to appear and, oh, telephone. All right, let's go answer this. Hello? 
Now, what the hell was that? We have Kayako Girl, the Grunge by George, and we now have these creepy, vengeful spirits that are wandering around the lab area of the nest. Now, the Kayako Girl replaces the ivy that are in the nest, and there are six versions of them. First of all, there is a version with the bulbs that appear, so you can still talk about the weak points, and there is a second version without the bulbs if you think they're ugly. Now, for both of the versions, the bulb and the bulbless version, there is a clean Kayako where her and her dress kind of looks fresh and new, like you're gonna be like her first victim. And then we have the grunge Kayako where her dress and her body is kind of covered with evil and grime. Ew. Shit. And finally we have bloody Kayako where she kind of looks like she just finished killing her latest victim of the curse. I think Kayako replacing the ivy is a very wonderful idea because, well, the ivy also makes these very creepy noises, you know, the noises that you hear before you encounter her. Kayako is from the movie The Grudge and it's a Japanese horror movie and there was also an American remake as well. Kayako is part of a curse and whoever enters the house of where she was murdered is gonna die a horrible way as well. Now Kayako is making these very creepy noises because well her husband snapped her neck and I'm guessing having her throat kind of bent a certain way kind of causes some vocal issues. The Kayako mod will definitely make it so when you turn off the lights downstairs, you are going to be running upstairs really quickly because, well, it's dark and kind of scared the darkness coming to get you. So yeah, that's kind of what you're, you're going to be feeling when you're playing with this mod. Anyways, thank you for watching and make sure you bang the like and subscribe button, bang it good. I will definitely be working on some Monster Hunter mod videos that I know you guys are all waiting and excited to see. Links for the mod and everything can be found in the video description below. Well then, stay skimpy my friends, stay skimpy. You're gonna be fine. Almost there, Sherry.